Hi folks, time for another renovation update. We'll go in and take a look around. Standing in the doorway as we look in the entryway here, the big thing to notice is now there is all plywood blocking in this wall for the pantry, which is really nice because we will be able to hang shelving on this wall anywhere without needing to worry about finding a stud. So that's gonna be fantastic. Here's the other side of that pantry wall. As you can see, this blocking comes all the way down to the floor and it's a nice thick plywood as well, um, right around three quarter inch. So real solid stuff to screw into. So that's gonna be great. Next, we'll turn our attention into the dining room behind me. If you notice in the two upper corners of the frame, kind of on either side of my head, you can see that there's some framing for the soffit, which is gonna cover up the ends of the beams. The other thing that's happened is a little bit more plumbing in here. So we'll go take a closer look at these items. So we'll begin with the plumbing. As you can see, we now have PEX lines coming from the vanity. Um, they also come over from the shower, which is what's coming in at the left side there. And then they come to a set of main lines, which go down through this chase to the basement. And so again, those lines for the shower are snuck along the back where that drain line is. And then they come over across here to where the shower is located right there. And they feed into um, the mixing valve up above upstairs. The other plumbing that happened this week, if you look in here next to the chimney, this is now serving as a chase. Um, and so there's a lot going on here because we've got the, the drain, which is the larger inch and a half PVC there. That's the drain for the sink which is up in the laundry room. And you can see now that we also have PEX plumbing for the water supply to that sink that comes down through here. Now, the smaller PVC here goes up to the attic. Um, and best I can tell, that's the gonna be the condensate drain for the air conditioning unit up in the attic. The other thing that we see here is there's the black wrapped line, and I believe that's the refrigerant line for the um, air conditioner or air handler unit in the attic. And then the other copper line, the copper tube, I believe is going to be the propane gas line coming up for the furnace that'll be up in the attic to serve the upstairs. So essentially this space by the chimney became the chase for all of this plumbing to make its way up to the attic. All right, going down there through the floor into the basement right next to this chimney. And you can see also that they did frame in um, where the surface of the wall will be. They framed out around the chimney now as well. But let's take a look at where all this plumbing is going up through upstairs up to the attic. I'm now standing in the master bedroom and right here we're looking at the chimney where it comes through the upstairs. Now there's quite a bit of space around this chimney here and so you can see right in front of me where that PVC drain comes from the attic and then you can also see the insulated line as well as that flexible copper tube. They run right up and into the attic. Just to give a sense of the space around this chimney, I'm now standing in the pass-through between the laundry room and the master bedroom and you can see those uh, lines running up in the space there. Looking into the laundry room, the uh, laundry hookup is now there and there's some PEX plumbing um, behind feeding that now that runs down and obviously we have the PEX plumbing here for the sink supply. I'm in the attic over the kitchen now you can see there's the drain line for the washer as well as the water supply lines they go over. The drain line feeds in and goes down through the pantry wall downstairs, but those PEX lines 
go right down through um, the wall. And I believe they were snaked down through the wall, the existing wall downstairs, even though it's not demolished because I don't see them downstairs. They just run down to the basement. And here in the bathroom, you can now see that the PEX comes in and feeds into the copper pipe at the mixing valve. And then that proceeds up to where the shower head will be. So this is now um, set up. With respect to plumbing, we also now looking in the downstairs bathroom have PEX water lines here for the sink, as well as PEX water lines coming up to where the shower mixing valve is. And again, that copper for the mixing valve was here already, but we now have the PEX lines running down to the basement. None of this in the basement at this point is connected or tied into anything. The rough lines are just there um, ready to be hooked up. Now that we've looked at the plumbing, we'll come back and take a look here at the framing. So you'll notice here now that you can see there's two by lumber on the side of all these beams and there's also lumber framing out a soffit ultimately to hide all of that plumbing as we come across um, the entire room basically and so the issue is <clears throat> this uh, joist or a couple of them um, the ends had to be cut and rehung and so this soffit is now going to cover up the end. Now the question came up this week, and I'll step back to try and show this. Um, I don't know how visible it is, but essentially this beam here, there's more distance there between, say, the bottom of that new lumber and the beam than there is over here. So the relief in terms of the exposure, and if you look at this one over here, it's even more significant. Um, the amount of relief there in terms of the soffit relative to the beam varies. And so we had some decisions to make regarding whether you, you essentially try to keep the relief the same or do you stick with level. And so ultimately this is level so that it all matches with the existing soffit that you see above the windows as well as the top of the window line. Now, Looking further at the ceiling, you can see there's some framing in there in between the beams. And so only this bay here has the cross members there, but that's all gonna be to hold uh, sheetrock. So the exposure on the beams is not gonna be a whole lot. And that's largely because of the fact that we had to splice this LVL on here for the fire damage. Um, but we also have to cover up the plumbing and so the exposure is not going to be full depth like it is in the living room um, it's only going to be say an inch or so at the bottom of the beams that will be visible now as i swing around here here's the area where the lvl was installed to repair the fire damage and you can see that there's also a similar soffit being built on this side to box that in because the end of this beam is essentially right here and so that's got to all be covered up we don't want any of that to be visible so this is all going to be boxed in um, and then ultimately sheetrocked here and so that will be not visible, but the beams will be exposed across the front. And of course, I think that soffit will provide nice space for, you know, running electrical or any other uh, mechanicals that need to be run through this room, through this space. So that's the update for this week. Um, continues to be good progress happening here on the renovation. Looking forward to seeing more updates uh, as things continue to progress into the next week.